This is Twit. Hi. That's oh, Matt Vokun. As you just saw, there's so much amazing innovation happening in the home space. And at the same time, our phones have evolved, become the most trusted He's devices in our lives. product director of project management for Create Hardware you ever wonder why the laptop experience Google. has been basically MIT the grad. same for MIT the past guy. 20 years? So while the laptop experience hasn't changed Here we all go. that Time much, for Pixel how book. we use technology in our oh, lives oh, oh, definitely has. Oh. We live Let's see why online. it's going to start at 1100. We can collaborate more Matt than came ever. came to a Google with the Motorola acquisition. Oh, interesting. It was VP strategy phone, at Motorola. Tablet and laptop. Actually, I take it back. He was at Google and, and took over as VP strategy Should at Motorola we be able to do when Google whatever we want on whatever device is in front of us. We think so. We've worked hard to combine the most helpful parts of He's a laptop, guy, a tablet, and a smartphone to fit how we use technology today. Meet Google Pixelbook. Yay, baby. The high-performance Chromebook. Uh, much as we uh, heard, that shadow fooled me uh, in all the pictures. Yes, it did. Pictures. I thought there was some sort well, of lip there. Look, it's two-tones, like Very the Pixel. Very looks like the Pixel. Pixelbook reimagines the laptop experience by marrying the best of premium performance hardware. Uh-oh. The speed, that means over simplicity, $1, and security of Chrome OS. The smarts of the Google Assistant. And it's still and all your favorite can't apps. batch process raw files. This book is a perfect example of how we oh, combine come on. the best Who uses raw anymore? Me! Me I get yelled at if I don't. Me too. We'll start with really, they demand raw in your design. production? Oh, yeah. This book is the thinnest, lightest laptop we've ever made. 10 millimeters just thin. Just around 10 millimeters thin. About 2.2 pounds. Light. You know, that is the reason I carry my Chromebook so everywhere. It weighs nothing, and I can just toss it into a tote bag. Sure it's it. a little heavier than Samsung's. Pixelbook easily adapts with a four-in-one design. So it's built it for is, the many ways a, you want to use it. You know, foldable, When you're convertible. at your most productive, it's an incredible laptop. Okay. Fold the keyboard underneath okay. and easily watch videos or play your favorite games. Use Pixelbook as a tablet to catch up on the latest news or read a hey, book. That's three. Where's the it's fourth? The first convertible laptop tent? that actually tent feels natural. I think the fourth is a stylus. A <gasps> I see. Prop it up into tent mode yep. to share your screen or follow along with a recipe in the kitchen. <laughs> Sleep Use underneath it however it for you shelter. want because Pixelbook adapts to fit the office. This is very much like uh, Samsung's five or six hundred dollar Chromebook even a long flight. Pro or Plus. Pixel phone fans will appreciate our signature glass inlay on the lid. Yeah, it looks just giving like it phone, not only it? a refined look. But improved wireless performance. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, LTE. Inch Something oh. missing from the Pixel or, just or the uh, resolution. The Chromebook Pixel. With vibrant colors in the last generation. And enough brightness. Quad to HD outside, LCD display. Two hundred thirty-five pixels per inch, twelve point three inches. Keyboard that's comfortable to use with soft touch keys. What about the track And a backlit pad? design that helps you work from anywhere. And Pixelbook's trackpad uses touch processing algorithms. That improve accuracy and palm Has that been a problem? The with Intel Core on this i5 five hundred dollar thingy is yeah. atrocious. Yeah. Pixelbook packs a using bunch. the Asus. Mm, the it Chromebook. It plenty of yeah. RAM to handle Flip. your multitasking needs. Intel Core i5 i7 processor. Sixteen gigs of RAM. That's Dang. great. And i7 available. Sixteen gigs of RAM. Maybe I can batch process raw charge. thing raw files on this. USB-C charge. In 15 minutes gives you two hours of battery life. I will say the battery life on the you Chromebooks can even is use your phenomenal. Pixel charger with your Pixel phone, giving you one less thing. To I've gone a whole around. day without char uh, plugging mine in. And in moments when you don't have access to Wi-Fi, yeah, Pixelbook is smart enough to automatically connect through your Pixel phone. Oh, oh, I that's like a smart that. So it, it automatically tethers if I you hope, have a Pixel phone. I hope that comes to my regular little Pixel Yeah, that's a smart way to do it. So much I don't have to give it setting up a hotspot on my phone and then manually connecting to it on my laptop. Apple does that as well. Now, let's take a further look at the software experience inside Pixelbook. This laptop is I was going to say fast. those laptops are more expensive. It starts up in seconds. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I think this yeah, is going to be Apple exactly. price. It won't slow down over its lifetime. Chrome OS provides a more secure computing experience with multiple layers of security and automatic updates. No need to worry about manual downloads or annoying security patches to keep your machine safe. And your most important files are available on your local drive and securely backed up with Google Drive. So you can access them from anywhere, online or offline. How much Google Drive offline. do we get?
We're also excited. I'm grandfathered in into a lot of space from all the phones I've activated over the years. Google Assistant built in, making it radically helpful. Google Assistant built in. We'll have an assistant key. Just like you can with your other devices, you can check the weather before heading out for the day, control your smart home, set reminders, check if my Packers won. Your assistant is there for you no matter what you're doing. I had that feeling. And we've made it easy to interact with the assistant in all the ways you use Pixelbook. When it's in tent or entertainment mode and the keyboard is tucked away, simply say, OK, Google, play Future Me. And that exact music video I had in mind starts playing on YouTube. Other times, though, it's not the right moment or place to talk to your computer. No. Like if you're sitting at a coffee shop or out in the audience right now. So Pixelbook has a key that puts the power of the yep. assistant, assistant right key. at your fingertips. Yep letting you type your request. And when you're using so. your Pixelbook as a tablet, you don't have anything like that on, on your, your Asus. No, I don't no. think It was rumored that some of these Chromebooks would have an assistant key, but I, don't, I haven't seen one yet. Pixelbook oh, pen. and it oh, has here a pen. We go. A smart, responsive companion for your Pixelbook. Uh, but it's not as it is with Samsung slotted Just into it. It's separate. And circle an image or text on the screen, and the assistant will take action. Makes oh. sense. Not everybody. When you're would browsing through a blog and discovering. It connects you to the assistant. You can circle their photo. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that was cool. All right. From there, so he circled a picture of the guy more. and it popped up the assistant with the information. Channel, get a list of their songs and more. Or if you're doing homework, the assistant can help with your research. Like if you get stuck on a what really unfamiliar concept. It's a hormone. Just circle the word. And the assistant will give you everything Thank you, you need assistant. to know. Thank you, assistant. You're so smart. The pen is also handy for moments when it feels more natural to write, draw, or now take notes. Sounds like it'll like be an you're additional using your Pixelbook as a tablet. Cost an accessory. Yeah. The experience using a pen should be bucks. like writing on. Looks paper. like it has uh, pressure sensitivity. To bring that experience to life, we partnered with the engineers at Wacom. Good. And uh, together we built good. the fastest, most responsive stylus experience. He said ever. Wacom. I say Just whack them. 10 milliseconds of latency. But who knows? 60 degrees of angular awareness. <laughs> Only whack them knows. And 2,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. 2,000? I think that's Pixel, more Pixel than the S Pen. Pen. Uses machine that's a learning lot. For handwriting I have to Google that. I don't know if I can handle 2,000 levels. It demonstrates how performance levels. hardware, combined with our expertise in machine learning, delivers a user experience that just works better. And shouldn't the apps you know and love on your phone Smart to do also the be available on your laptop? With Pixelbook, they are. It's about on par with the S Pen. Actually. Pixelbook fully supports have the Android Google Play. Play Store, of course. So popular smartphone apps are now available on a laptop. In fact, it's been a mixed never bag been easier to put the final touches still in beta. on your favorite yeah. photos in Adobe Lightroom, and then yeah. post them straight to Instagram. What a great way to get Lightroom on a platform, huh? You can listen to music from Spotify, or download Netflix shows and movies for viewing on the mm. go. Mm. Lightroom is Pixelbook so so. Pixelbook is also it's Chrome getting better and better. Activity apps like Evernote. AutoCAD it's free. And it's more. true. And you do have Snapseed. Snapchat is, is already fantastic. one of the most popular apps among editor. early users. And we're thrilled to announce that the Snap team is working with us to bring an amazing Snapchat experience what? to the larger screen on Pixelbook. Ah, that's interesting. Interesting. Yeah. In addition to these that's been amazing one of the Pixelbook limitations of Android apps on there is they mm -hmm. have the Android There are phone many more shape. developers building for the larger screen. And they crash if you try to maximize now, them. Let's take a look at how Pixelbook will fit into your life. Okay, Google, play Discover Weekly on Spotify. Okay. I do not want to add up the cost of this event to me, but I have a feeling I'll be spending quite a bit of money in December. Yeah. Yeah. Would you replace your Asus with this? You might want to. I've been holding No, I off. need to get a real computer. I almost got, well, I don't have a real, I mean, I have yeah. a Windows, yeah. but I need to get a real computer. I think I need to get I think yeah. that's part of what Google's trying to push here is this is a real computer. Yeah, exactly. I just caught myself after saying it's that. It's not quite, though. I don't think of it as a real computer. Well, you need to process raw files, for instance. Camera I need raw. to be able to move really fast. And my experience with Chrome OS is I haven't been able to move really Put as fast I as I want to. 16 gigs of RAM, it might be. It might be able to handle all that stuff yeah. I throw at it. Because I'm on a mobile processor on this little thing. We'll make go discover, go ask.
This is going to be, what's interesting is they're trying to sell this as a, a consumer product, but if they price this as I think they're going to, well mm -hmm. over $1,000, mm -hmm. it's going to be a hard sell mm -hmm. when all, all the other Chromebooks are more like And everybody less. knows an Apple MacBook oh, is going to last MacBook. you a long time. The best of Google's last AI, years. software, mm -hmm. and hardware. We think you'll love the beautiful, versatile design, high-performance hardware and software, new ways to access the Assistant, and all your favorite apps. It's available in three configurations, so you can choose the performance, memory, and storage that's They're right for you. They're going all the way up to 512 gigs of storage, Pixelbook which is starts surprising. at 999. Okay, so starting at a thousand, and the pen is another hundred. Okay, you can pre-order today, and the Pixelbook pen is ninety-nine dollars. Both products mm. will be available in the U.S., Canada, and the U.K. That's twice what the Chromebook Plus costs on the costs. Google Store, and at over a thousand retail locations, including Best Buy. Yeah, they're trying to go after pre-order start today. I, feels too and expensive. They'll be in stores beginning October thirty-first. End of the month. You can get a Windows 10 machine for half the price. Yeah, you can get a Chromebook for half the price. And create. If that's what you really want.